Hey there. Today, we're going to talk about how to round numbers. When we round numbers, it makes it easier to describe and remember what you have. For example, instead of trying to remember that you have 197 coins in your collection, it's easier to say that you have almost 200 coins in there. Also, rounding numbers helps estimate answers from math equations. Say you want to add 22 plus 17. You can round it and make it 20 plus 20 instead. Let's compare them to see if it's almost the same. 22 plus 17 equals 39. And 20 plus 20 equals 40. 39 and 40 are almost equal, although it's not exact. We can't deny that adding 20 plus 20 is easier. Do you know what the rules for rounding are? Let's take a look. First, let's try rounding to the nearest tens. If you want to round a number to the nearest tens, we simply have to look at the number in the ones place. If it is either one, two, three, or four, we round the number down. Rounding down means keeping the same tens digit and replacing the one digit with a zero. If it's either a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we round the number up. This means adding one to the tens digit and replacing the ones digit with zero. For example, if we have 42, since the one digit is a two, we round the number down to 40. But if instead we have 46, since the ones digit is six, we round the number up to 50. If you want to round the number to the nearest hundreds, we look at the tens place, but everything else works the same. If we have 316, since the tens digit is one, we round the number down to 300. If we have 382, since the tens digit is eight, we round the number up to 400. Let's practice by rounding numbers both to the nearest tens and hundreds. 811. To round this to the nearest tens, we look at the ones place. Since the digit is one, we round the number down to 810. If you have any numbers in larger place values, then where are you rounding to? They stay the same. That's why our answer is 810. When rounding 811 to the nearest 10. And rounding to the nearest hundreds, we look at the tens place. Since the digit is a one, we round the number down to 800. What about 529? Try rounding this to the nearest tens. That's right, you got it. Since the ones digit is nine, we round the number to 530. How about rounding it to the nearest hundreds? That's right. Because the tens digit is two, we round the number down to 500. Great work. That's it for our lesson on rounding numbers. See you again soon. Bottle Learning is making math fun and motivating. 
join the world of Bottle, customize your very own Bottle character, and begin solving math problems while playing interactive games. There's different types of games and tons of fun math skills, so the fun never stops. Visit BottleLearning.com, join thousands of other kids, and let's make learning fun together.